In this video, we'll talk about anaphylactic shock. Anaphylactic shock is one kind of life-threatening severe allergic reaction. And it happens due to immune system's release of certain chemical in an uncontrolled fashion. In anaphylaxis, blood pressure drops and suddenly the airway becomes constricted, which leads to difficulty in breathing. The pulse becomes weak, the heart rate becomes rapid, there is a nauseous feeling and blister-like rashes throughout the skin. The immediate treatment is an epinephrine injection followed by a visit to emergency room because anaphylactic shock can relapse within 12 hours. So let's say what can cause anaphylactic shock. So there are certain food items such as let's say seafood or let's say insect sting that can possibly cause anaphylactic shock. Other than that, there could be certain drug or let's say anesthesia induced anaphylactic shock as well. So let's talk about the immunology underlying anaphylaxis. So there are cellular and molecular components which are associated with anaphylaxis. Majorly mast cell, basophil and IgE antibodies are associated with the anaphylactic reaction. It's also a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction which is rapidly occurring. Now it starts with the exposure of allergen one time, the first exposure. At that point of time the dendritic cell would present this antigen to the T cell which would eventually proliferate and differentiate into Th2 subtype. Eventually Th2 subtype secretes cytokine that converts naive B cell into plasma cells that produce IgE antibodies. Once IgE antibodies are produced after allergen exposure, these IgE antibodies can bind to the mast cells with the FC receptors and thereby they sensitize the mast cells for future. This was the first exposure. So after first exposure, there is no visual symptoms, nothing happens. But the problem occurs when there is a second exposure. During the second exposure, the allergen binds to the IgE cross-linked receptors and lead to severe degranulation of mast cells in an uncontrolled fashion. These kind of degranulation can cause several things, most commonly bronchoconstriction. When the airways are constricted, it's difficult to breathe. Less oxygen goes to different parts of the body. Then there is increased glandular secretion, smooth muscle constriction and vasodilation. Dilated ves vessels ensures more and more immune cells to move to the regions and cause inflammation. Anyway, treatment of anaphylaxis includes epinephrine shot in the thighs followed by a visit to emergency room because it can relapse within 12 uh, hours of time. So constant monitoring is really important when somebody is undergoing anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is life threatening. So if somebody is undergoing this kind of situation, they should immediately rush to the hospital. Otherwise, there could be a problem. You can get more notes and flashcards in my Facebook page, Instagram page. All the links are in description. You can support our channel by super thanks. You can pay via Paytm, PayPal, UPI. Thank you. See you in next video.